This nerdish boy actually abandoned his beautiful girlfriend and fell in love with a car. What was going on? Arnie was a failing high school student. For years, the only validation he received was from his mother, but sometimes he also failed his mother. On the other hand, his friend Dennis was the exact opposite. Not only was he handsome, but he was also a key player on the school's football team. Arnie, who was already a loser, seemed even worse in comparison to Dennis. One day, Arnie was being bullied at school again by a gang of school bullies. At that moment, Dennis stepped in. Although Dennis was quick and agile, he couldn't fend off one bully's sneak attack. Luckily, a teacher intervened just in time, and Arnie narrowly escaped. Feeling depressed, Arnie saw a second-hand car for sale on his way home. It was a 1958 Plymouth. Dennis thought the car was too old to drive, too new to be an antique, and just right to be junk. But Arnie fell in love with the car at first sight and asked the weird old owner for the price. The old man said, this car's name is Christine. I'd sell it to others for $300, but I'll sell it to you for $250. Both were so afraid the other would back out that they quickly made the deal. Back home, Arnie's mother was unhappy about him buying the car without permission, saying there was already enough junk in the house and he should get rid of it. Reluctantly, Arnie took Christine to a repair shop. To get in, he had to honk the horn, but the car didn't have one, so he had to use Dennis's car to honk. The repair shop owner Darnell warned Arnie not to start the car until the exhaust pipe was fixed because he couldn't stand the smell of the exhaust fumes. After selling the car, Dennis took Arnie home. Curious, Dennis asked, what did you see in this broken down car? Arnie said, it's the first thing I've seen that's uglier than me. In reality, Arnie wasn't ugly, just lacking confidence. After a few weeks of effort, Arnie managed to fix Christine using scrap parts from the repair shop. Even the worker at the shop was impressed, saying Arnie indeed had good hands but also bad taste in cars. Eventually, Darnell invited Arnie to work part-time at the shop. In exchange for free use of parts, as Arnie spent more time with Christine, his feelings for the car began to change. Meanwhile, Dennis hadn't been idle, he liked the beautiful girlie and confessed his feelings to her, but she directly rejected him. One evening, Dennis went to see Arnie, but Arnie had changed recently. He no longer wore glasses. His expression had become proud. He didn't smile at his parents, and he ignored his friend. Arnie's mother told Dennis that ever since he got the car, Arnie had become a different person. Dennis investigated and discovered that there was something strange about Christine. The previous owner's entire family had died because of the car before Dennis had a chance to tell Arnie. He saw Arnie arrive at the football game with Christine, and accompanying him was Lee the girl Dennis couldn't win over, seeing the two being close. Dennis got distracted and was tackled hard, suffering a serious injury. A few days later, Arnie came to visit Dennis, but his expression showed that he didn't care about his friend, or anything for that matter except for Christine. Dennis couldn't help but ask, how did you get Lee? That night, Arnie and Lee went to a drive-in movie. Just when Arnie tried to take things further, Lee refused at the critical moment. It wasn't because she didn't like Arnie, but because she always felt the car was watching their every move. Arnie sweet talked her and finally convinced her to get back in the car, but then the windshield wipers broke, so Arnie got out to fix them. Lee inside the car tried to eat some snacks, but ended up choking. Arnie tried to save her, but the car doors had locked themselves. At the last minute, a passing man saved Lee. Arnie took her home, Lee angrily told him that the car was weird, it turned on the radio by itself, and flashed its lights at her. Arnie thought she was overreacting, and they parted on bad terms. As Arnie was about to leave, he found that Christine wouldn't start. Christine was jealous, only after Arnie reassured her, promising that his heart would always belong to her. Did she start up again? The next day, Arnie parked the car at the repair shop as usual, but the gang of bullies snuck in and vandalized the car. When Arnie came to pick her up later, he found the car had been completely trashed. Furious, Arnie turned on everyone around him, not just Lee, but he also yelled at his parents. His father tried to discipline him, but Arnie cursed at him and even grabbed him by the neck. Having abandoned everything, Arnie now only had Christine, and he wanted her to show him her love. Suddenly, the headlights came on, casting a strangely intimate glow to Arnie's surprise. Christine began to repair herself, Meanwhile, one of the bullies, Moochie, saw Christine on his way home. Christine sped up, and soon Moochie ran into a dead end. At that point, Christine seemed to have lost her mind, and despite damaging her body, she accelerated and crushed Moochie to death. 
Afterwards, Christine repaired herself again and went after another bully, Buddy. Buddy thought it was Arnie coming for revenge. He tried to negotiate, but Christine rammed Buddy's car, causing an explosion at the gas station amidst the flames. Christine, looking like a demonic vehicle, continued to chase Buddy, eventually killing him. Burned and disfigured, Christine returned to the repair shop. Darnell thought Arnie was driving the car. He opened the door and was shocked to find no one inside. For some reason, Darnell decided to climb into the car. Christine then showed him the automatic seat adjustment, and Darnell was crushed to death. The next day, Arnie arrived at the shop to find the police had already sealed off the area, but Arnie had an alibi, leaving the police confused. On the other hand, Lee called Dennis, saying she was worried because everyone who crossed Arnie had been killed. She feared she would be next. She asked Dennis to talk to Arnie. When Dennis met Arnie, he was like a different person, arrogant and cold. To show Dennis his beloved car, Arnie even took his hands off the steering wheel to take a sharp turn. The next day, Dennis secretly carved a challenge address into Christine. Dennis and Lee came prepared, bringing a bulldozer. Lee was unsure if Arnie would come, but Dennis reassured her that Christine would definitely show up. Sure enough, Christine arrived. She immediately chased Lee, but thanks to the bulldozer, Lee remained unharmed. Christine, now disfigured, looked like a feral beast. When Dennis and Lee finally saw inside the car. They realized that this time Arnie was driving her himself. Arnie aimed the car at his ex-girlfriend Lee and sped toward her. There was a loud crash. Lee was unharmed, but Arnie not wearing a seatbelt was thrown from the car. He touched Christine one last time, and then he died. Although Arnie was dead, Christine didn't stop, still trying to attack Lee. But Dennis, using the bulldozer, had the advantage of brute strength. Christine had incredible regeneration abilities. But Dennis repeatedly crushed her with the bulldozer, until she was reduced to a pile of scrap metal. When everyone thought it was finally over, Christine started moving again. 